step into the world of The Iron Claw, a film that takes you beyond the wrestling ring and into the heart of a family's struggle for approval. Intrigued? You should be. This isn't just a film, it's a journey into a world where ambition meets obsession. The Iron Claw takes us on a journey into the world of professional wrestling, focusing on the Von Erich family, a legendary dynasty in the sport. The film is set in the late 1970s and early 1980s, a time when wrestling was dominated by small regional promotions and territories. The story revolves around the four Von Erich brothers, all of whom are deeply involved in the wrestling business. The oldest son, Kevin, portrayed by Zac Efron, is the most invested in the wrestling business. He trains relentlessly, risking his life and career every night in the ring to win the approval of his father, Fritz, the patriarch of the family. Fritz, played by Holt McCallany, is a former pro wrestler who now manages the family's wrestling promotion. He's a hard-driving, domineering figure who constantly pushes his sons to work harder, often pitting them against each other. Fritz's management style is more akin to a sports team manager than a father, always looking for new angles to get the best performance out of his players with little regard for their emotional well-being. The other brothers also have their own aspirations and struggles. Mike, for instance, dreams of becoming a musician but finds himself pushed into the wrestling business by Fritz. The brothers live in constant fear of their father, always trying to impress him and follow his instructions without question. As the brothers navigate the world of wrestling, they face numerous challenges and temptations. Tragedy strikes when one of the brothers dies suddenly while on tour in Japan. This event sets off a chain of events that tests the bonds of the family and their loyalty to the wrestling business. Let's talk about the storytelling and writing of the movie. The film follows a linear narrative structure, beginning with the introduction of the Von Erich family and their involvement in the wrestling business. The story progresses through the trials and tribulations they face, culminating in a poignant climax that leaves a lasting impact. The narrative is well-paced, allowing for the development of characters and plot lines and ensuring that the audience remains engaged throughout. The underlying themes of ambition, obsession, and the pursuit of approval are powerfully portrayed. The film explores the dangers of these obsessions and the impact they can have on relationships and personal well-being. The film's writing style is engaging and thought-provoking. The dialogue is realistic, and the tone is consistent with the serious and often somber themes of the film. The pacing is mostly well-managed, balancing dramatic moments with quieter ones to maintain audience engagement. However, there were a few moments during the film that I lost the sense of time, and I couldn't tell that if it's now or ten years later because the characters mostly look the same throughout the film. The characters in The Iron Claw are well-developed and complex, each member of the Von Erich family has a distinct personality and their own set of challenges. The evolution of the characters, particularly Kevin, is compelling. The film does an excellent job of portraying their struggles, ambitions, and the impact of their father's influence on their lives. If you are enjoying this review, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now let's talk about the acting. The performances in The Iron Claw are nothing short of remarkable. Each actor brings a unique depth to their character, creating a compelling and believable portrayal of the Von Erich family. Zac Efron, as Kevin delivers a powerful performance. His portrayal of the oldest son, who is deeply invested in the wrestling business and constantly striving for his father's approval, is both intense and moving. Efron's physical transformation for the role is impressive, but it's his emotional depth that truly stands out. He captures Kevin's determination ambition, and inner turmoil with a raw authenticity that anchors the film. Holt McCallany, as Fritz, the patriarch of the family, is equally impressive. He embodies the domineering and hard-driving nature of Fritz with a subtle menace that is chilling. McCallany's performance is nuanced and layered, revealing a man who is driven by ambition for his family, yet blind to the emotional toll his actions take on his sons. The other actors, portraying the Von Erich brothers, deliver strong performances as well. They effectively convey the fear, loyalty, and desperation of their characters, adding to the emotional weight of the film. Their performances, combined with Efron's and McCallany's, create a believable and emotionally charged family dynamic that is at the heart of the film. Now here's a question for you. What is the worst thing your family pressured you into doing? 
Tell me yours in the comments. Now let's talk about the look of the movie. The cinematography and visuals in The Iron Claw are a significant part of what makes the film so engaging. The film's visual storytelling is as compelling as its narrative, with each frame meticulously crafted to enhance the story. The cinematography effectively captures the gritty and intense world of professional wrestling. The camera work during the wrestling scenes is particularly noteworthy. Close-ups of the actors' faces capture the raw emotion and physical strain of the matches, while wider shots reveal the spectacle of the events and the reactions of the crowd. The cinematography brings you right into the heart of the action, making you feel as if you're in the ring with the characters. The film also makes excellent use of lighting and color grading to set the mood and tone of the scenes. The wrestling scenes are often bathed in harsh, stark lighting that highlights the physicality and intensity of the sport. In contrast, the scenes depicting the family dynamics are often shot in softer, warmer tones, creating a sense of intimacy and emotional depth. The production design and set decoration also deserve mention. The film successfully recreates the look and feel of the late 1970s and early 1980s, from the costumes and hairstyles to the wrestling arenas and the Von Erichs home. This attention to detail adds to the film's authenticity and helps transport the audience to the era. In conclusion, The Iron Claw is a compelling film that delves into the world of professional wrestling through the Von Erich family's story. It offers a unique blend of action, emotion, and a deep exploration of ambition and the pursuit of approval. With strong performances and engaging storytelling, it's a captivating watch. However, I need to say you will enjoy it more if you are a wrestling fan. If you are not that interested in wrestling, I think you might find this film boring, so I mostly recommend it to wrestling fans. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss the next review.